Hi, Ori, it's Travis Senior, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we shred some machines, fought some alliance, got rid of some loggers, dealt with the venture company, and uh, had a little bit of fun, a little PvP action. Strength and honor. Got slayed once, and then teamed up on this druid a couple times. So let me sell some stuff here before we move on. Anything else we need to sell? Keep this. Looking pretty good so far. We got some space. Today we're moving out of the Stone Talon Mountains. Got a couple quests that are turning green that I kind of want to do. Miner's Fortune and Samo Flange Emanuel. So we're going, and supposedly they are at the. It's another Venture Co mission and it's at uh, the boulder load mine northeast of sludge fen so we have to uh, go to sludge fen which is in the barrens what brings you here so we are going to hit up the crossroads go in and then we're going to move uh, to the sludge fen and then supposedly it's here northeast it's a little northeast of the sludge fen right there and we'll go into the mine and then we have to uh, do miner's fortune which is being wharf master of a busy port like Ratchet. I keep my finger on the pulse of information. I know all about my exchange of goods and money between here and Booty Bay. The latest bit of news I've heard about, the venture company's boulder load mine northeast of Sludge Fen, one of the miners discovered an emerald the size of your fist. I know a few buyers who'd be interested in getting their hands on something like that, and I'd be willing to go half and half on this sale. All right. So we gotta get him the him uh, an emerald. Kind of reminds me of playing Sonic. Well, here we go. There's another one. Samuel Flange Manual. Bring the Samuel Flange Manual to really greasy Goblin Ogremar. I think I can fix the Samuel Flange, but I'm going to need the user's manual first. When I was in the Venture Company, I had a rival, Boss Copperplug, who hoarded the secrets of the Samuel Flange, giving out small bits of knowledge on the device to those he trusted. I wasn't one of the trusted few. Boss Copper Plug used to stay at the Boulder Load Mine in the Northeastern Barrens. Get the manual from him, and if he's given pages to anyone, you'll have to collect them too. You'll be able to choose one of these following rewards a torque wrench or a Samuel Flange screwdriver. It's an interesting sword that gives you spirit. Spirit sword. It's actually not bad on, on Warriors. Spirit actually gives health regen, so that's nice. If you're, uh, if you really need to, like, I don't know, slay a mob, and then you get out of combat, your health regens up, and you go to the next guy. So the spirit's actually pretty good on a warrior, early leveling. It's not a, that bad of a sword. It's not bad at all, actually. It's, it's a good sword. It's too bad, though, usually, as a warrior, unless, if you're an orc, you want an axe, because you get that extra hit. But a troll or an undead or a torrent, I think they'd like that sword. Be pretty good. Yeah, we're flying in. Flying into the crossroads. Haven't been here in a while. Alright, we're at the crossroads. And now. Okay. So, what should I do here? Should I make this my inn now? I think that might be Greetings. a good idea. Go in this is now my home. Alright, let's head north. Gotta make some moves. We got two gold. We haven't got over ten gold yet, which is kind of rough, but I, that's just the way it is. We gotta go northeast, so we're kind of going the wrong way right now. Here we go. We also have a Baron's Herbalism quest. I kind of want to do too. Supposedly. To like go around and like collect herbs in the Barrens or something? Root samples, yeah, root samples. So we should herb in the Barrens. Supposedly like the herbs in the Barrens are enchanted or something, I don't know. 
So maybe we'll get some root samples from gathering herbs here. There we go. So we just got a herb, eight herbs. Might as well do that while we're running around in the barrens. Never see many alliance in the barrens. They kind of avoid this place. This is kind of like uh, Darkshore for the Horde. I mean, for the Alliance. You don't see a lot of Horde in Darkshore. It's mostly Alliance there. That's a really... I'd say Darkshore is the equivalent of the, the Barons to the Horde. But the Barons is, I don't know, probably better. I think, I think it's better, but I'm a Horde player, so... I guess I'm a little biased. All right, so let's keep on rolling. Oh, got another herb. Get another root sample. Not bad. Already 30% complete. I wonder if you get a root sample for every herb. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Not bad. Alright, another root sample. Not bad. Buff up our ice wizard friend here. This should buff our buff ourselves up. It's just like looking at us like that guy druid's What's wrong with that druid? Why is he buffing us? Let's gather some herbs. Kind of going out of my way for these herbs, and I don't, don't mind. Because that quest is also green. I'm always worried when a quest gets green. Because that means you only have a certain amount of time to get it done. And then it just doesn't give XP anymore. Well, it does give XP, but it's far less than it used to give. Peaceful Barrens, the Circle of Life. Corpse of Nero, Nero Basta. Nero Basta. Okay. Here we go. Got some Mage Royale here. At least he's, this gives me a bit of XP. Not bad. Banging through this quest. Just banging. We're almost at the Sludge Fen. And then we have to go northeast of the Sludge Fen and find this mine. We're gonna, pretty much just going in there and just going to go bully everybody, it seems. we like, give me your emeralds. And uh, we want the Sam Flanch manual. Or you're all going to all gonna pay, pay a price. The Horde are bullies, man. Same with those ratchet guys. I think those rat, those guys in ratchet, are probably almost as bad as these venture co guys, because <laughs> they don't care. They don't care to rob and steal and stuff. But I guess it depends on the people. They don't mind robbing and stealing from the venture co, or any of the horde's enemies. Look at all these guys out here. Oh, this guy's actually going late too. Actually, get XP from this guy. I'll take that small rafter tooth. We'll make our way to this next herb. Which is a briar thorn. We need more of these for our alchemy. All right, two more to go. Looks like this guy's going to the same place as us. Maybe we'll follow him. Look at Hunter's move, eh? Oh, it's a rogue. Pop sprint. Rogue with sprint. Very strong. Okay. 
Get out of here. I think this rug's going where we want to go, so I'm gonna fall. Is this it? Where are we going here, Kit Kit's cats? Or you want a buff, bud? You want a buff? Boulder load mine. Rogue Gladys right there. Had a feeling he would. Got 125 XP for that. Not bad. And this is the mine, I guess. And these are the guys. The overseers. And got another druid here. Soto Mojo. He's just chilling. Supposedly there's some bruise weed around here. I have a feeling the leader would be in this hut. So maybe we'll check this hut out. Let's check this hut out here. You good to go. Yeah. You got the legs. Now we're picking up some herbs. <laughs> and uh, that's that's what we're doing here. I'm gonna move into this to this spot. We'll see if uh, see if buddy. There we go. Got a Samuel Flange manual page. And who's that off of? An enforcer. Maybe overseers have it as well. Page of the Samuel Flange. How many like pages do we need to get? Join and the cover and five pages. Okay, so we need five of these. These guys seem to give them out. in here. Looks like we don't can't touch it. It's kind of weird. All right, well, there's nothing in here. I thought there would be more. There's, there is a box, but it seems we can't use it. There's another overseer. Herb over here. It's the herb we missed. There we go. We did that. Got our root samples. Now, just need to go in this mine, I guess. Gotta find these pages. Could sneak our way in. I think that might be the plan. Way in. We might 
sneak a bit. We do need these pages. Oh wow. He called the boys. We're gonna have to run. Oh, so maybe we should have a bear. We gotta run. See you later. They dealt with us there. See if these uh, heavy linen bandages heal us for anything. Not too much. Use another healing touch. make our way back in, into the mine. Hopefully we get another one of these pages. Yourselves. These guys do pull more. So we gotta watch out for that. It should be a pretty serious mine to go through at a low level. Got the cat's eye emerald. Okay, so we got the miner's fortune. And we just need, uh. Just need some of these plans. A bit closer. We got three pages, we need two more. And then we need the cover of the manual. These pants are better, 12 attack power. It's pretty good. Sneak over here. So we can't sneak by dwarves. Can't sneak by a dwarf. Get a lot of wool cloth from these guys. It's good to know. What's here? It's at this, this shiny spot over here. This is just the end of the mine. She's gonna start running soon. There's nothing in this corner. I don't think there's anything around here. These guys gotta watch out. Got a pack coming. There we go. That's four pages. We just need one more. And 
in the book and we're out of here. Who's that guy? Boss Copper Plug. I guess he has he has all the stuff we want. We well, got two two v one right here. Don't let him pull more. We know Boss Copper Plug has the has the cover. for that pat. He's patrolling around looking for us. We'll sneak in here. Well, wasn't that good. We'll be all right. Dark leather tunic. All right, let's sneak up to Boss Copper Plug. He's got a battered chest next to him. Oh, he can notice us. Gave us a little hint. Huh? Let's open up. Open it up on the boss. And there we go. We got the Samo Flange manual cover. Check out this chest. This box of assorted parts. Some potions, some freshly baked bread. Nice offhand. Inventory's full? Are you serious, dude? Um, get rid of this baked bread and this bananas. Get rid of this too. I don't really need food. Open up this box of parts. Crude scope. And then... Guess we'll get rid of this raptor tooth. Now we just need one more page for the manual. And there we go. And this battle axe, I think it's worth getting. I think it's probably worth more than this blasting powder, I assume. Probably more than the spider icker. Should get rid of the venom sack. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's sneak out of here. We got everything we need. Actually, we didn't have to get rid of everything. We just made the book right there. Now we just need to sneak out. And then make our way back to uh, Ratchet. Got a couple quests to hand in there. Just the deep moss. Deep moss eggs. Gotta hand that gem back in. For uh, root samples as well. This place would be tough at like level 16. Really tough. It's tight. And there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of patrols here. Okay, well, we're making our way out. Alright, we're out of here. Alright. Let's get out of here. Off to Ratchet. <laughs> All right, just got to make our way back to Ratchet, and we're done. 
Got nine minutes on our hearth. Which isn't too bad. Probably gonna hit level 23 here, which is good. Let's make some moves. Let's try to figure out what we did. We got we got all of our root samples for Mebok. And we got the gem for Wharf Master. We got the Sam Flange manual. And then a couple episodes ago we got these deep moss eggs for Mizzy Rick. So got three quests to hand in in Ratch and then one in Ogremar. So maybe it might be time to uh, to go to Ogremar again. We got some herbs over here. Some earth root. It's always good to get. Yeah, that should get us to level 23, I think. Should give us two bars. Two and a half bars. for more RFC. Didn't do RFC. More Wailing Caverns. It's a lot of quests right there too. Taking the coastline down to Ratchet. There's Axeloth. Didn't do his quest to uh, slay those uh, Warlock guys. We're moving into Rapture territory. Yeah, we journeyed today. We pretty much did like a full circle. Well, almost. Kind of like a, an upside down U from the crossroads sledge fan. And then down to Ratchet. It's a good thing we're a druid, though. If we were a warrior, we'd probably be, like, up here still. Here we go. I wonder if I can get to Ratchet from, from going this way. I hope I can. Might have to take a swim, which I don't mind, since then I get to use the aquatic form. Bags are full too, got some stuff to sell. Alright. We're right around the corner from Ratchet. There's the boat that goes to Booty Bay. A lot of fights on that bow between the Alliance and the Horde. And there we go. There's the dock. Right ahead. We made it. Should we get this first? We get these herbs. Gonna need them for alchemy. And then we'll hand in these quests. Hopefully we get level 23. Level 22 has been a little bit of a grind. Alright, here we are. I never came to Roger from this side. It's like my first time doing that. Usually come from the crossroads. Okay, well here he is. Should we have anything to drop off here? Yo! What's going on, Zickle? So we'll put these leggings in there. I might sell those. This offhand might sell that. 
I don't know if you will want to buy an offhand because we have four spirits, not bad. Um, gonna go to Ogremar and try to sell some stuff. Next episode. <laughs> Here we go. Time is money, What's going on, Mebok? That's right. Got twenty silver for that. Root samples. Hello, Fred Carey. To get those samples. Yes, yes. These are very nice. I'll grow specimen from these roots and study them. Help to find new properties from them. Hidden valuable properties. And don't worry. If I do, then you'll be the first to know because I'll need someone to gather more. Okay. Right back. Now let's go over to Wharf Master Dizzywig. Which I believe is on the It's on the Yeah, on the dock here. Yeah, this should get us level 23. What's up? If only we knew which one of the miners had found the emerald, it'd be a walk in the pack. Look at the size of that thing, Flight Carrier. We're going to be rich. Let's see, according to the rates I've been, I've seen on gems going into Undermine, I should be able to figure out your cut 50%. Don't worry. Now let's see. I think this should do about right. Pleasure doing business with you, Flight Carrier. <laughs> Keep it real. Ripped us off. Clearly ripped us off. See how much we got in this bag of coins. 14 silver and then an old money bag. It's a six slot bag. It's kind of cool. It's a cool bag, I guess. We'll toss it into uh, Talk to, me. to our bank. Good old money Keep bag. Anything else we want to put in here? What's up? We want to sell like the spider silk. Probably want to sell the spider silk. Got a lot of peace bloom. I right guess back. we'll hold on to that stuff. Probably going to go to Ogremar next episode. Got some stuff to sell. Here we go. Going on, Innkeeper Willie. Talk to me. Let's sell some stuff here. Is that tunic better than ours? It is. It doesn't give us agi. It gives us spirit. Got more armor though. Same amount of stamina. I'm gonna sell this. I'm keeping the agi. Sell this. Sell that. That's binds when equipped. So I'll have to sell that. Any grays? Anything that's gray. We'll look to sell. Yeah, that's about it. Got this deep moss <laughs> egg still. It's a quest item, so we'll get rid of that. There we go. Well, guys, we uh, dealt with the Venture Co. again. Got an emerald, got some root samples, and uh, found that Samuel Flange manual. Probably next episode, we're going to bring that back to... Uh, Really greasy grab an Ogremar and try to sell some of the stuff we got. Well, that's the end of the episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.